Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a test case plan in Microsoft Test Manager 2013 Professional. So in order to do that, we need to fire up uh, Microsoft Test Manager 2013 Professional. So uh, here I have installed. So we're going to go ahead and fire up Microsoft Test Manager 2013. We're going to go ahead and right click and run as administrator. Click yes. I'm already connected to my Team Foundation server, but let me take you back real quick. If you are not connected with any Team Foundation server, you will not see anything here, but you need to click on Add Server, where you need you can uh, uh, put your Team Foundation server right here. Because in order to, to create a test, test case plan, you need to uh, be you need to connect it with team foundation server you need to be connected with the collection and then you need to go in your particular uh, team project in order to create that uh, test case plan so we're gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that since I'm already connected this is my uh, dip, I have a couple collections right here this is my team foundation server we expand that I'm going to go in my default collection and I have a team project right here so we're gonna go ahead and click on connect now here are some of the uh, test plans that I have already created. We're going to go ahead and uh, create a new one. So I'm going to name this test plan as adding login feature to the page. This is my test plan and my area path is my team, um, Tech Brother team, that's my um, project team project and iteration is um, Tech Brothers team if you wanted to select 0, 1 or 2 or 3 iteration, third iteration you can actually select that. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave it as it is and click add. Once your plan name is added and uh, some other information is added we're gonna go ahead and double click on that particular plan so that we can fill out that plan all right as you can see that um, up here it ha this is our plan adding login feature to the page um, this up here this little icon it's uh, is called suite in Microsoft test manager everything every time you create uh, the test plan it's suite w what suite means is that it will contain the requirement and the test cases in one bundle and it's called test suite so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this if you wanted to add a requirement to the particular plan or if you wanted to go ahead and add test cases directly to this plan uh, that's okay so we're gonna go ahead and click on add requirement to the plan and um, right here that uh, what kind of uh, query would you like to run if you wanted to add the uh, existing requirement so we're gonna go ahead and click on work items and direct links and run that query it'll bring all the test plans all the requirements that you have created before uh, if you don't know how to create a requirement I have put in another video how to create a requirement you can go and look at that video and uh, we will use that uh, this this will use your existing uh, requirement basically and um, uh, up here if you look at that it's the item work item type is requirement you can create requirements in um, a team foundation server so we're gonna go ahead and select that and I'm going to change basically this existing requirement is add login login feature to the front page I'm just putting it out there you can uh, do it as you please so we're gonna go ahead and save and close <coughs> and we're gonna go ahead and add requirement to the plan as you can see right now the requirement is added in the plan so now we need to do add the test cases to the plan if you have your test cases you're gonna go ahead and add those test cases one by one once we're finished with test cases we're gonna go ahead and save those so we're gonna click on add new if you uh, on the right side if you just hover over your mouse up here 
it says create a test case and add it in the test suite so we're going to go ahead and click new this is the test case open the my test cases click on on the link if I would like to add anything right here, um, this is my action step. This that was the name. So my action step is open, open internet, open Internet Explorer, and paste the URL. This is my first step. Click go. login page appears so this is my third step provide credentials so this is my fourth step in that plan if you have a, a test requirements you can go ahead and put it up here if you have if you wanted to write a summary um, uh, detailing these steps you can put it out there if you have attachment sometimes it's a good idea if uh, you send uh, instruction to the uh, tester the developer might send instruction to the uh, develop uh, to the testers and uh, they will attach that here and anybody in the test testing team can look at that document and uh, basically add more um, to to the um, test case so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just for this demo purposes we're gonna go ahead and click save and close as you can see that uh, this is uh, my second plan and each plan when you add each test case uh, I'm sorry each test case when you add in your particular um, requirement it has its unique ID you can run the reports based on the uh, uh, test cases later on and at that time this ID really is handful so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and create another test case and I'm gonna um, I'm going to add this test case add click to view the source code I'm just putting it out there you can you know you might have a better idea if you're working in this uh, test case industry what case you wanted to add really so I'm just uh, showing you how it's done so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing click on file that's my file click on save as select HTML save on share drive that's my second case so we're gonna go ahead and click save <clears throat> so now we have a, a suite which has um, the requirement the the work item type requirement is right here and our requirement is add login feature to the front page and we have three test cases right here that we we will follow and um, uh, and after after we're done with our planning then we're gonna go ahead and click on test as you can see that uh, when you go and click on test it has all the different tools up here uh, analyze the test runs do exploratory testing view exploratory test sessions uh, verify bugs and we're gonna go through each one of them when we uh, come back to run the test uh, this video was all about the planning of the test uh, test cases this is how you make plan um, and uh, you can add as many test cases as you want to and you can add as many requirement as you want to in one suite if you click on plan again if you wanted to go look at your plan you can go back and click on a plan tab and it'll appear right here and you can also go ahead and right click on um, if, if you if you don't want to um, really add this plan you can remove that here or you can also assign a tester for this selected plan and uh, uh, that tester will do that particular test case.
I'm sorry, I, I kept saying plan, but it's a test case. These are the test cases. This is the requirement. And this whole uh, thing is uh, right here is our adding login feature is uh, also the suite name as well as our plan name. I hope this video helps.